They found what was left of Nogolo Nogwaza in a drainage ditch choked with garbage and high reeds. Activists say the lesbian's death late last month highlights an alarming rise in homophobic violence in some of South Africa's most impoverished areas. Her friend Muntu Masambuka said it was terrifying how Nogwaza's body had been butchered. Imagine all the teeth out, the scalp cutting with a knife, taking out the skin. How do how, 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 how you sleep at night? Know that you've killed somebody in that way. At one time, the neighborhood where the 24-year-old mother of two was slain was considered a haven for black gays and lesbians. Then three years ago, a national soccer star was killed there, and another lesbian was stabbed at a club in the area in 2009. Gay pride marches afterward brought hopes things had turned around, but those were dashed when Nogwaza was murdered. No one's been arrested over her death. Friend and fellow activist Bontle Kahlo appeared almost stunned by the violence against gays racking the townships, the communities where blacks were forced to live years ago under apartheid. I'm really confused about it. I, I don't have answers. I don't know. But it is happening. And it's happening at a speed that even we can't understand. Justice Ministry spokesman Tlali Tlali notes South Africa offers legal protection for gays and lesbians, even as other African countries punish homosexuality. And these rights, including sexual orientation, is a right that is constitutionally guaranteed. So no single individual has an authority, you know, to come and prescribe to the next person as to what their sexual orientation must be. Activists have used South Africa's charter to push for more in the courts, overturning anti-sodomy laws and securing rights for gay parents. But some worry such successes may be triggering backlash, with people like Nogolo Nogwaza paying with their lives. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.